There are dozens of companies that offer tests of specific genes. One of the most respected is Waltham-based Interleukin, which has been in the business of genetic analysis for nearly two decades. Its newest product, a $150 test that helps overweight clients figure out the best approach to shedding pounds. Dr. Ken Kornman. What you eat uh, turns into fat differently among different individuals. And in fact, there are very well-controlled studies showing that as people age, somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of the variance in middle age weight gain is entirely genetically determined. Clients submit a cheek swab which provides the genetic material needed to analyze five variations on four genes. The results reveal whether a person would lose weight more easily on a low carbohydrate diet versus a low fat diet, and whether their metabolism requires high intensity versus low intensity exercise. I took the test and found out that my body responds better to a reduced carb diet and to a high intensity workout. Amy Katzis had a weight problem for several years and had tried a number of diets, but she says understanding her genetic tendencies helped her lose weight. It took me about three and a half months to lose somewhere between the 25 and 30 pounds. It was just really easy, it, was, it just happened. Um, I didn't feel like I was dieting, I really didn't feel like I was depriving myself. Now that she's reached her goal weight, Amy is able to maintain it with less intensive exercise. She's even able to cheat every so often with her favorite carbs. It feels good because, again, I'm not struggling because it's not a diet. It's not going to end. This is my lifestyle now. The main thing is be attuned to what your body genetics are uh, dictating in terms of your responsiveness. And it really is helping to provide some rational lifestyle guidance that's genetically and metabolically based. Up next, easy answers to hard questions. Why would you have your stomach removed? That's so dramatic. No, dying from stomach cancer, that's really dramatic. It's a late winter afternoon in Worcester. Beth Lambert is making pizza and pasta for her extended family. Beth is doing most of the cooking, but she won't be eating all that much. Neither will her brother, Mike Walsh. The reason? Beth and Mike have both had their entire stomachs removed after genetic testing showed the siblings were at high risk of developing cancer of the stomach. Do they take the entire stomach? Yeah, they need to because if there's any bit left, a cancer cell could grow. They connect your esophagus to your small intestine. So they just bypass what was the stomach. Yep. Yep. Beth and Mike grew up with three other siblings. In 2007, the oldest brother, Stephen, died of a rare cancer known as hereditary diffuse gastric cancer. At the time, their mother, Mary Walsh, had been wondering why so many members of her family had died of stomach cancer, including her father, an uncle, and a cousin. When her son, Stephen, passed away, Mary insisted her other children get tested. I'll tell you, she's persistent in many aspects of her life, and this really was a benefit, you know, because if she hadn't, a lot of people, I don't know if I would have had the strength to do it myself. When Beth and Mike learned they did indeed have the marker for this particular cancer, they began seeing Devanshi Patel, a genetic counselor at Mass General Hospital. Patel first explained the likelihood of them getting the cancer. In this condition, diffuse gastric cancer, if you're a man, it's anywhere between a 40 to 67 percent lifetime risk of developing diffuse gastric cancer, whereas if you're a woman, it's anywhere between 63 and 83 percent. Patel explains that unlike other cancers, this one is nearly impossible to screen for until it is too late. Diffuse gastric cancer is very difficult to detect, so usually when somebody presents with a disease, it's late stage. You know, the idea is, you know, we don't know if it's slow growing or fast growing or not. It's just that one, when one is symptomatic, by the time they find the cancer, it's, it's, it's at an advanced stage. And usually fatal. With those odds, Beth and Mike decided to go ahead with the surgery, and they had it done on the same day at Mass General. 
that brother-sister date has made their post-op struggle a little easier to endure. The first thing then is you both lost a lot of weight. Yeah. 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 Like how much, roughly? Um, I've lost over 100 pounds. Hmm. Yeah. I lost probably about 50 pounds. Wow. Do you still yeah. get pleasure out of eating? I guess it depends on the day. Some days it's a chore, other days it's, it's great, you know? But some days, I'll tell you, when we first, after the surgery, boy, that eating, I dreaded it. It mm. was too much work. When they remove your stomach, one source of knowing you're hungry is the vagus nerve. And so when that's gone, um, they, you don't feel hungry. So that's part of the whole adjustment is you have to train yourself to eat. You kind of have to look at the clock because your body's not going to tell you. These days, it's all about eating slowly and small amounts. Mike says he can tolerate most foods. Beth doesn't do well with heavy carbs. But they've adjusted and, more importantly, survived. Now the family turns its attention to the next generation. Two of Stephen's kids recently tested positive for the gene which killed their father. John, who's in college, and Adriana, who's still in high school, share music. So how can there be room for And now, a medical dilemma. So you will have the surgery. I'm not sure when yet. You know, it's, it's not a good thing, obviously, but I don't know. It's just, I, I mean, you can't feel bitter about things like that because, you know, it, there's nothing anyone can do about it, and it only makes it harder if you're bitter about it. Like John said, it's... There's, there's nothing you can do about it, so you just have to kind of appreciate how lucky you are to be able to know this information and be able to do something about it. You said earlier that Steve saved your life. You mean that. He, no, there's no question. He did. I mean, between him and my mom, if we didn't have those two pieces of the puzzle, we wouldn't know this and really you know a lot of people as I said feel you know they hear this oh how could you why would you have your stomach removed that's so dramatic no dying from stomach cancer that's really dramatic um, we could prevent this from happening and why wouldn't we do that up next and then they were four